Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Cisco is good. Just going to dive into Chainlink. Once again, thank you for your continued support. Really do appreciate it, okay? I'm just going to make this video rather quick for Chainlink. We've got absolutely smashed up here. We broke out this level of resistance, multi-year level of resistance right there. We look really good, but then the next week, obviously, the past two weeks have just been an absolute bloodbath. Not just for Chainlink, for entire crypto space, okay? But I just want to outline that I am still bullish. People think I'm a maniac, but I am still bullish on Chainlink, especially, okay, in, in this bull run. So I'm just going to dive into some technical analysis right now obviously we're above the 55 as you can see on the weekly time frame we, we do need to see ourselves get back above the 20 uh, at the moment okay that that 20 ema on the time frame on the weekly time frame sorry is 29.52 there is a move that's forming for uh chain link that potentially could see us absolutely rocket here and what i'm going to do zoom straight onto the hourly time frame to show you okay and that could get us back above that 20 ema on the weekly and we could look in be looking at some kind of v-shaped recovery right here for for, for chain link okay and across above because this pattern is forming on a lot of projects right now okay straight off the bat i don't know if you can see it but on the on the hourly time frame there you've got a lovely inverse head and shoulders that's uh, forming right now uh, not just for chain link across the board okay across the board this is forming it needs to you need to pay attention to it because this could be a beautiful recovery right here for, for crypto in general. You've got the bullish cross on the hourly, you're above the MAs, you're holding support, you're coming up to a level of resistance. If you break that resistance right there for Chainlink, that's going to absolutely rocket you, okay? Because you can see that Chainlink off the bottom right now is currently up a whopping 73%, okay? At one point, it recovered 82%. So it's doing really, really well. Okay, and obviously as it goes up, it's not just going to take off into space. It needs to sort of come back and hold support, which is doing real, relatively well. You can see we'll come down to the 55 on the hourly time frame. We've bounced above. We're getting a nice pickup. If we break 26.95, you could be looking at a massive pump here for Chainlink. So do anticipate this off this inverse head and shoulders. And this is something we've been targeting on the channel for a few days now, not just on crypt, uh, Chainlink, on a lot of projects. Okay, if this breaks, you're going to see fireworks across the board for crypto and i would imagine that 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 is it you know you've looked at that correction you've come down you've bottomed out and you reversed and it's see you later alligator off to the beach and we're looking at full recovery for crypto right here which would be mega and instill some confidence back into the market as well wouldn't it because chain link is really bullish it's arbitrary i won't go too much in, into it at the moment but in the, over the next few days you're going to see an update for chain link and this is where you might see that propulsion okay for chain link so do do anticipate that big move for chain link and obviously we with that if it does get there you're looking at that getting back above the 20 that v-shaped recovery and onwards and upwards not just for chaining but for, for alts as well and uh crypto in general which would be absolutely marvelous wouldn't it and this correction is over and done with and this big sell-off is out the window right now so yeah that's chain link on the hourly time frame okay and obviously to inval invalidate this structure that it's creating right now all you've got to do if you if it, to invalidate it is not create a lower low because at the moment you've got this low here for, for chain link providing you don't go any lower than that right now then you're not invalidating this structure that you've got on the cards where you've created a low a low and then a high low you're basically reversing the trend right there and as you can see if you break out of that particular target right there that, that's going to be a really nice upside for chain link so again break trade on confirmation okay come to your charts and move this because obviously you can see and it's ascending resistance line that's created for itself do you see this so come to your charts and if it starts to break then you're looking at beautiful upside for chain link and roughly roughly 36 percent upside for chain link not that it's up not up or a lot already currently if it gets to there that's 146 uh, percent upside for chain link from the bottom right there okay so keep an eye on that particular pattern but what i'm going to do right now is look at chain link versus bitcoin so you can see Chainlink versus Bitcoin on a weekly time frame. Then we've got a bullish cross last week, a couple of weeks ago, sorry. Uh, we buy and go to the beach signal. We posted this on Twitter, okay? And you can see it was doing really well. Went up and it said on the 0618, started to get rejected. And obviously with the correction across the board, past couple of days, it's rolled over, isn't it? It's found a little bit of support now on this 0236. You can see it's picked up above. It is running into a level of resistance right now against Bitcoin, okay? You can see where that level of resistance is. It's a 0382. Now you are above DMAs on the weekly, which is good. It's, it is good. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're in a bullish cross. You've, you've rolled over, you back tested, you held support. You're above the 20 EMA on the weekly. You're looking relatively healthy for continuation because that might just be the correction out the cards and out the window there for, for, for Chainlink versus Bitcoin. Okay, because you can see here when you got the bullish cross here, you rolled over, you held the 55 continuation, holding the EMAs constantly. And right now, 
given that correction that we've gone through and if you see that further upside for for chain link breaking out of that inverse head and shoulders this is where you could see chain link sort of start to go on right now okay so it's just a little update for you involved in chain link and obviously you can see in front of you right now you've got that level of resistance which you do need to see come to your weekly charts draw your trend lines okay you can see that you broke out of this um, falling wedge you came back up you broke it so you met that target right the next target the pattern that's still in play is this you've got to come back up to here because you've fallen out of this larger um, falling wedge do you see this so right now you are sort of making progress onwards and upwards to this particular target right here because at the moment that's the pattern that's in play and the only way to invalidate that like I've said to you the pattern that's in play is valid until invalidated away the only way to invalidate that is if you roll and you lose this level here you've fell out of this pattern and you're creating a new pattern and this pattern's out the window do you see that so you can't afford to lose this level here for chain link versus Bitcoin because if you do then you, the pattern that's in play is invalidated basically so yeah it's looking good it's looking relatively good it's had a nice bit of a pickup here for chain link um, but obviously you're not going to get there overnight you're going to run into levels of resistance so good luck to anybody involved right now it's just a quick update for chain link okay across the board take care everyone i'll be back soon stay safe stay healthy stay strong and stay tuned and uh, i'll be back soon Bye bye